Welcome to the hottest issue challenging and redefining golf courses around the world today, water conservation. This is part one of the four T's of water intelligence series. Over the past few decades, while water usage at golf courses has declined 22%, we have seen the cost of water rise more than 30% and it's expected to continue to rise. Droughts and water restrictions are forcing many golf courses to close and others to make drastic changes to their water management practices. Many golf courses are leading the way, but with costs on the rise, there's always more we can do to save water. Golf courses are challenged with using the least amount of water needed to maintain the turf to the level of aesthetics and playability their customers expect. For some golf courses, expectations have declined as many golfers understand the economic impact of rising water costs and the need to conserve water. For other courses, including many high-end golf courses, expectations have not changed or have even gone up, making it increasingly challenging to maintain prime course conditions at the lowest possible cost. Focusing specifically on a golf course irrigation system, there are four vital areas of efficiency that can dramatically cut water usage. Tuning, timing, transporting, and technology. This video focuses on how tuning can help you optimize your irrigation system. Tuning is a critical step in ensuring sprinklers operate at their peak performance. The first step is to practice frequent and consistent sprinkler maintenance. At many golf courses, sprinkler maintenance is purely reactive, but by developing a preventive maintenance program, you can extend the life of the irrigation system, maintain performance, and minimize the frequency and severity of costly and time-consuming repairs. Proper sprinkler maintenance includes cleaning the heads and nozzles to clear debris and dirt that can block water flow, trimming to make sure the sprinkler head clears the grass and that there is nothing in the way of the spray, leveling so the spray is getting the optimal reach and distribution uniformity, verifying the nozzles are correct based on spacing, and checking for weeping heads. Check your sprinklers every week to verify they pop up, turn, retract, or that they rotate at the correct speed and aren't weeping. Also check frequently for clogged or worn out nozzles that can interrupt water flow and uniformity. The second step in tuning is checking and maintaining the sprinkler height. Make sure the sprinkler has proper alignment and that it is flush with grade. This will ensure proper irrigation coverage. The third step in tuning is to set up, at a minimum, a yearly preventative maintenance schedule for pump station maintenance. Doing this will help promote longer motor life, prevent catastrophic breakdowns, and ensure more precise measurement of water going into the field. Practice preventive maintenance to reduce reactive repairs and improve playing conditions. Hire a trained technician for semi-annual maintenance of electrical and mechanical components. This will ensure a longer life and more efficient operation, saving you time and money for the life of your pump station. The fourth step in tuning is to go through your central control database settings, including runtimes and precip data. Use your central control to compare the database of nozzles to the nozzles actually installed in the field. First, check that the type of sprinkler is correct. For example, you may find sprinklers were changed out and your central control is still showing a long throw model instead of a medium throw model. Second, check full circle, part circle to make sure it is set up correctly. For example, you may find you have part circle showing in the system when it is actually running full circle. Third, confirm nozzle type is correct in the database versus out in the field. Fourth, for the most tuned in system, enter your precip rates and periodically confirm your precip rates are accurate. Every six months, take a day when the course is closed and run the system like it would run at night to make sure heads are coming on, working properly, and covering areas they are supposed to cover. For example, you may find out sprinklers on your roof are watering greens, fairways, or other areas they should not be watering. The target is every six months. Whether you schedule a whole a week or the whole system at one time, aim to verify this information for all your sprinklers at least twice a year. The fifth step in tuning is to conduct an irrigation audit every three to five years to confirm spacing and uniformity matches the original design specs. Anyone can do an informal audit. You can purchase an inexpensive audit kit, put catch cans on a green, collect water, and confirm uniformity of your sprinklers. If you see large water volume disparities in the catch cans, you can then conduct a formal audit to find out exactly how to correct the nozzles or sprinkler type to get uniform coverage. When you are auditing, follow an audit checklist. 
Here are some of the critical things to check for. Check that nozzles in the field match nozzles in the central control and what is on the original design. Check that sprinklers that are designed to be green heads are still green heads and not move to surround heads, which will create a gap in spacing and create dry spots on the green, causing more hand watering. And check that you have correct spacing that matches the sprinkler design and nozzle configurations. In conclusion, there are four vital areas of efficiency that can dramatically cut water usage on a golf course. Be sure to tune your system to ensure sprinklers operate at peak performance. This was part one of the four T's of Water Intelligence series. The four T's are an easy way to remember best practices for your irrigation system to ensure water costs are within your budget. To learn more about best practices for irrigation efficiency, go to rainbird.com slash water intelligence and download a checklist of the four T's of water conservation. Thank you for your time.